We'll head out in five or ten minutes, love. I'm waiting for my mom to get ready. Don't rush her. The shops aren't even open yet, sweetheart. But the civil marriage office is probably open. Let's go and get a date right away. <laughs> you seem more excited than I am, babe. I am. See you soon, love. See you, love. Salim, what are you doing here? I used your concealer. Is it too obvious? You should have thought about that before you got into a fight. Let's get going if you're ready. Where's Veral? Mr. Veral went out about an hour ago, madam. Huh. Well, knock on wood, he liked his job. I don't want any foreign staff at this time. I don't want to deal with them. Their arrival is a bother, their leaving is a bother. No, I don't want them. You always tell me that, but in the end, I always face a problem. All right. See you, Mother. Wait a second, Erdogan. There, I've said what I needed to say. I'll go for adults without any children, if it's possible. A middle-aged couple would be fine. I'll wait for your call. This is the last one. If this doesn't work out either... What happened to your face? My face? Um, well, I fell off the treadmill yesterday. Did you have a fight with Salem? No, Mom, come on. This is exactly why I'm trying to run away from you, because I knew I didn't have a fight with Salem. Look at me and tell me the truth. I had a fight with Karam, but you should see his face, oof. And why are you still pestering him? We don't pester him at all. Will you look at my face, Mom? Yeah, he attacked me. He did for no good reason? Only Allah knows what you did to him. Mother, it's me, Erdogan, your son. You should stand up for me. You promised me, though. You said you would be a decent guy. I am a decent guy. We tried to help him, I promise you. The girl had gone missing, we were talking about what we were going to do, then he suddenly came after me. That's enough. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear anything about him or that girl anymore. Drop this subject. Okay, Mother, we will. Don't worry. It's dropped. Erdogan. Nothing important, just a mishap. I'm sorry to hear that. I forgot to put my seatbelt on. I got rear-ended by a car. Bad luck. Oh, Allah. If only I hadn't left early. If only I had driven you last night, sir. No need to dwell on it. Just drive. I'm in a hurry. Yes, sir. The state you're in is much worse than Salem's. Erdogan!
Today, Mr. Toronto is coming to the offices. Stay out of the way. Lie low, okay? Slim, too. You both can't be seen. You can't cause any suspicion before the wedding. You hear me? Yes, sir. You're right. What's up, Mustafa? I'm good. What gives? How's your mother? She's better, thank you. What are you looking for? What's up? Which car did Mr. Erdogan take yesterday? He had an accident. Uh, they were in Mr. Munir's car. Mr. Veral and Selim were with them. In the same car? The car's fine. Yeah, I see that. You say they had an accident? Maybe what he meant to say was that they were in another car. No, they were definitely in Mr. Mooney's car. Reza from the security told me that. We sent Mr. Veral's car home. He didn't have an accident then, that's what I thought. Huh? I guess I misunderstood is all. Tea? Yes, please. Hey you, will you get us some tea? Are your parents still at the hotel? Yes. I'm looking for a place, a small place. One you can afford. That's right. Does your dad know about gardening? That he does, yes. He used to work in the fruit gardens in our hometown. We also had a garden there. They used to grow vegetables. I'm sure your mom is a good cook as well. Yeah, very talented. Listen to me. I think I've found them a place to stay. Somewhere even you can stay. You'll stay on the first floor of our house. I'm sorry? They'll keep my mom company. Your dad can take care of the garden and your mom can cook. They'll have a fine place to stay. But... Hello? Mom, listen. Any news from the maids you were looking for? Good. Well, forget about them. I have good news. I found a very reliable family to help you. Yeah, and they happen to be from our town as well. I know you'll like them. Okay, we'll talk when I get home. I'm sorry, but I can't wait on people anymore at this age, son. I won't make your mother work in this state. There is no way. Mom will be more comfortable in that house. She'll only have to cook. She won't wait on anybody, I think. They have other maids to do the cleaning and so on. They're not a big family like Mr. Asat Yasaran's either. It's only Erdogan and his mother. As far as I know, they don't have many visitors. Mom will not get tired. I won't allow it. Besides, I won't let her be treated roughly. It'll be good for her too. Otherwise, I wouldn't even bring it up. Think about it. You'll get out of those hotel rooms and I won't have to stay at that lonely guest house. All of us will be together in a magnificent house. And I'll be able to get my mother to the hospital easily. No, son, it's out of our element. I've never received orders from anyone in my life. I can't do it. Don't make so much of it, Dad. You'll only work and be in charge of your own garden. If our friends knew, we'd never hear the end of it. What of it? Do they give us our livelihood? I'm not sure you understand what's at stake here. I don't have any hidden agenda. They're just jealous of the Yasserans. And I genuinely think that we should keep moving ahead with our lives, Mom and Dad. We won't pay any rent and we won't have any expenses. What's more, you'll earn money and save it. I mean, what more could you want? Tell me. He's right, Emin. I go to the hospital, then come back to the hotel room. I have nothing to do. At least I won't get bored. Honey, people our age can't stay in a stranger's home. He says it's no trouble. I can cook for my family or for other people. What's the difference? He says we'll be comfortable. Mustafa spends a lot of money on us, Emin. Now we won't be a burden to him anymore. We can even save some money and help him to set up a home for himself. He'll get married some day. We both know that he won't be able to do that without money. You already made up your mind. I did. Oh, you won't be sorry. It'll be better for all of us. You shall see. I hope so, son. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 